All right guys, welcome back once again. So if you're new here, my name is Niklish and I live here in Berlin. Today's video is to make you guys aware about a fraudulent call or a scam which has been running around for some time now and there is no end to this. This whole incident came into my attention when I saw an article in Times of India where it says two Indian students in Paris lose 1.3 lakh rupees to hoax callers from embassy. Now let me make one thing absolutely loud and clear embassies do not call you to ask for money with respect to all these things okay we're going to dive in more details in this whole incident but just so you're aware of embassies will never ever call you if they want to call you if, if they want to get in touch with you they would send an email to you or there would be some or the other way they would not ask for money directly right on the first call Okay, there, is a, there are procedures in place, there are protocols in place. So after reading this article, I got in touch with the guy who got affected because of this. And we had a long chat this morning. And in this, right here in this video, you're going to see that we're having a Skype conversation. Yeah, he's sharing his whole incident, that how it all took place. So if you're new to this term, hooks calling is nothing but calling someone with a malicious deception. Okay, or in a very layman's term, it is calling someone to scam and uh, yeah, it could be for anything. So to give you an insight about how does this whole big scam takes place with students who are soft targets, there's a modus operandi for this. Okay. These callers, they would spoof you by saying that we are the officials from the Indian Embassy and there is a flaw into your passport or into one of your travel documents. And this is all happening while you're already here. They would, I mean, the people who got vindicted for this, uh, these students have been living in Europe for good time now. These are not newcomers. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly highlight a few points from the article written by Times of India. And uh, I'll show you guys the conversation what I had with the guy and how did this whole scam developed and happened with him. So article starts with Indian students in France seem to be falling prey to fake calls from listed number of countries, embassies in Paris and Berlin. Now, as far as I know, um, both the embassies, I've worked closely with them, um, both the embassy have this disclaimer on their websites which pops up. Indian embassy in Paris, as soon as you open their website, there is a pop-up which pops up which says that fraudulent uh, hoax callers, just be aware of this. Same with Indian embassy in Germany, in Berlin, they also have this uh, disclaimer as soon as you open their website. So it says last week two students in Paris, including one from Trichy, lost 320 euro, so that means in INR it's about 25,493 rupees. And the other person paid 1,270 euro which is almost like 1 lakh rupees and this is the person whom I spoke to the calls which showed they were from the embassy tricked the students into transferring the money into mentioned account and was later withdrawn from India a case has been filed and the Indian embassy has promised to look into it obviously uh, my name is Yasi Rajis Peter I have come from Tamil Nadu in India and I'm doing my master's degree in France and uh, at the moment I'm in my final semester doing my master thesis in Germany. You are a full-time student in France. Yeah, I'm a full-time student in France. Just tell us in a nutshell what exactly happened with you. Yeah, it was on August 14. I got a call around in the morning or 8.30 or something like that from the contact number, mm -hmm. Ministry of External Affairs in Berlin. So it was the exact contact number uh, what the Ministry of External Affairs used to have it. So, mm -hmm. so they asked me, are you yes, Regis Peter? Uh, yes, sir, yeah, it's me, yes, Regis Peter. So they said, we got a, a complaint on your visa process or on your visa, uh, like you have in, the, in the, the part where you have the date and the month, you have mismatched and put your uh, month and date in your date of birth. So that's a complaint raised from the French embassy uh, that you have been illegally come to France and you have to go back today itself to India to resolve this process or else you will be arrested today and put in jail and you have to pay around 10,000 euros of penalty. The second oh option God. is 10, 000, the second option is like, like uh, you can do it from here also. Uh, the first option is that uh, if you go back to India also, you have to go to New Delhi and you have to meet a lawyer there. The lawyer name also, he, he gave me the website. Uh, I'm not sure what's the name of the website. It's also there. It's a uh, high court uh, lawyer's website is there. Mm -hmm. So there are a list of lawyers there. So one particular lawyer, he said, he have, have to go and uh, uh, pay the amount to him. So he will resolve the case within one hour and I will be returned back the money. In On the same day, around seven o'clock or something, I will be the immigration office, whichever is nearby. So in Germany, we used to have uh, the Ausland and Behörter in every city, right? Yeah, yeah. So he said, like, from the immigration office, they will return back the money. Uh, evening at seven o'clock, you should not go anywhere. 
so cancel all the appointments Which whatever you have oh my god okay and what the main thing he just make everyone fear is like whenever we talk or whenever he talks first thing he said open this website ministry of excellence efforts website maybe okay. you can think, you can think it's a fake call see here the contact number what i'm calling and the contact number what is there in the website okay so then he's telling us to, uh, to mention again okay uh, repeat the thing what you are saying so i have to say okay this is the contact number it's not a fake call it's original call so like this whatever he is saying we have to repeat it again since he is saying it is has been recorded at the back side for uh, safety for the security reasons i should not talk to anyone in between so it's against the rules and regulations it's a criminal offense it seems so oh at the moment my mobile uh, usually when i used to make a call my mobile network will, will not work at the moment so i said him my mobile network is not working so he himself guided me where the western union shop is and where the money gram shop is so near my company i have a western union shop uh, it's a post office a post bank so i went there but my they said uh, my passport is not working at the moment they said i don't know why because i have transferred before in france to my mom and dad but mm. at this time it was not working so i said i don't have any other money gram shops or western union shops nearby uh, after this so he said wait i will look into the internet and let you know where to go so he guided me for 30 kilometers to take a tram and a train and through oh my god throughout the call it was 4 hours of uh, process, uh, call he did it even cut the call and even if the call is cut it is automatically reconnected within oh one my god seconds. no way dude it's automatically reconnected within one or two seconds oh my god okay even if we called again to same number is directly going to the ministry of external affairs contact number it doesn't say say it's a wrong contact number or yeah. doesn't say anything. even if we call also usually we used to have it it's may some people we used to make a uh, information like this is a spam call or something right so nothing has been displayed in my mobile phone even if whenever receive a receive a spam call i will always have the message it's a spam call or something mm-hmm. like that yes yes i don't receive anything like that the call directly shows it's from berlin mhm and this was my situation uh, till the end so, of the process uh, until he takes money there he's keeping us on hold so how long did it take so it all happened in one day yeah it all happened one day uh, from 8:30 in the morning until 12:30 in the afternoon how many how much money did you transfer uh, 1240 euros plus the transfer charges of 30 euros 1270 euros it's almost 1 lakh what were the bank details it was uh, he told me to transfer only to money through moneygram 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 and western union were the both the things he was using because i got affected by this moneygram another girl who was not a friend but she also affected on august 13 in france right she transferred through money uh, western union since oh i don't God. have option here in western union she he, he urged me to transfer uh, through moneygram and one more important information he knows very well german language and also the french language because okay. when it, when i was traveling the train uh, when i was uh, about to catch the train so the train was little bit late for 5 minutes so in germany we used to have all automatic uh, audio announcements. announcements so i was hearing the announcement he is saying at the back end okay the train was late for 5 minutes sir he is asking me oh so my he, god man this is creepy okay yeah this was a thing happened this uh, for me it's happened on august 14 and for that girl it happened on august 13 so how was the accent of the guy in the accent uh, Indian accent was it from I'm not I'm not able to blame the particular place of the Indian Indian place but it's definitely I'm sure it's from North India yeah you can yeah. you can sense the english yeah. tone yeah yeah the sense okay. of the english, okay. because every indians used to speak different kind of english accent right of course right? man of course we, yeah. we as a yeah. indian can understand yeah yeah Uh, yeah because i uh, i'm not here to blame the north indian people or anything no, like no, that no of course no nobody yeah, yeah. is blaming so here the people who watch also don't think like okay north indian people are like that but we everyone can understand the uh, the way they speak or the slang what they have when they speak uh-huh. english yeah yeah from wow. my from my side i just investigate and found this kind of things happening in three places in india and one is from bihar uttar pradesh and bangalore ah uh. yeah like okay. india now we have uh, we, i think you might have know the situation like uh, the people in india calling to the indian people there and saying your credit card is going to expire please give yeah, me yeah, a yeah. number yeah yeah like this and also another information i got there's these kind of data are getting uh, from the nokri.com or indi.in these kinds of website because recently i opened account on nokri.com 
and mm-hmm. that girl also opened a recent account indie.in and mm-hmm. another one of my friend also got uh, yet to get cheated by this kind of scam calls in uk so he somehow founded that this guy these guys uh, take the details from nokri.com but he also has the account on nokri oh my god yeah oh my because god they, they don't specifically uh, uh, search on the indian people but only uh, around 10 percentage of the people from abroad who create account in nokri.com to mm-hmm. search uh, who have passion about the country or who wish to correct, do correct. after master studies who wish to go and do job in the country mm-hmm. so it's easy for them this is one part of the uh, search what they have did but i don't know how much how artificial intelligence they're doing it and also i made complaint to all the crime branches in india all the embassies in france and also yeah. in germany and also in india i got a call from indian embassy like they said like this is happening for many uh, many long years and not only for the new students and also for the old students it's also happening like this so be please be aware of it i say they said yeah, but... when he called you on day one right yeah yeah what kind of questions did he ask you yeah he didn't ask me any questions but he said like my visa you mentioned instead of date of birth you mentioned the date and month in mismatch so this is raised as a complaint from the french embassy uh, where you got the student visa so i said like my french visa is already expired i'm here in my uh, german visa to do my uh, internship here so he said like yeah i know that your french visa is going to expire your french visa is expired but since you have uh, mismatched your uh, immigration uh, path so it's like illegally you come into france and since you got the german visa in paris so it's also illegal that you go to germany so you have compl- you have been illegally in two different countries you are saying mm. so fuck mm. me up. so because if, if i'm in india if this kind of call come to me i am aware of it okay this is a fake call but of if course. i'm in germany front there's no way that making a fake calls like this right, so that's right. why i believe with it so he was keeping me totally four hours onto fear and until right, he tra- right. he took the money on the other side he's keeping us on hold the call right right the whole scam happened on the basis of your data right? yeah all yeah. your sensitive data and he made it very believable when yeah. he started talking the details right the minute details yeah. which you think yeah. only said only certain uh, departments or authorities should yeah. know about it right yeah yeah somehow they are able to tap into all these things yeah and uh, you actually thought like no 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 it is true like maybe i'm totally out of my mind for more than one week because of the situation since oh. i'm looking for a job here so even if i get a job it's not a problem for me but since uh, searching for a job and losing all the money is really ridiculous to be here yeah yeah uh, even some some of the negative feedback also got on facebook but being in my situation only we can able to regret what kind right. of uh, 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 see i'm sure Leon, you know when you when you share posts like this people are first to blame you because you'll yeah. they'll be like how can you be so stupid to transfer money yeah you know? yeah yeah um but when you are in that mood um, yeah. again you took yeah. conscious decision of course yeah uh, and at that moment they made it believable for you yeah and also another information i have to give like uh, the uh, whenever we used to transfer money to, through western union you know, money gram we have to give the name of the candidate right yes yes so he used the name of the indian lawyers in new delhi it is also in the website the name of the lawyers is also in the website Okay. He used the same name to transfer the money. Cool, yes, man. See, um, I'm, I can only say that sorry that um, yeah. this happened with you, and I'm, I'll I'll do my best to make other people aware so that they don't fall prey for this. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. So, all in all, in a nutshell, what we are talking is: please be aware. If there is something like this which is happening to you, open your mouth. Go ahead, reach out to the officials from the embassy. If you're in Paris, if you're in Berlin, if you're in any of the major cities. there is for sure a way to connect with the indian community if not indian community then get in touch with the embassy call them up try to get in touch with them via phone see one of the drivers what these scammers are running on is fear these guys i don't know how again it's a question to be put up in front of right person i don't know who that person is going to be how are these sensitive details getting leaked how can someone have someone's passport number or date of birth or the address in fact this guy whom i spoke to yes his current telephone number he's officially student in france living in germany he's doing his internship here he's doing his thesis how can a person have his number locally i don't know 
again these cameras are way smarter than what we all think about and they know exactly where are the loopholes so just be aware that's what i can say there's there's absolute nothing what i can do right now in my capacity only thing what you and me can do is bring these kind of things into notice of others and i'm pretty sure there'll be someone next door who will help you or guide you at least what are the next steps you should do now losing 1200 euro that's not a small amount even you lo losing one euro for any stupid reason like this what these cameras are running oh my god okay just be aware of this just be aware because I know there's a whole new batch which is going to fly out of India or wherever you are to Germany, to France and all the other countries in Europe. Please be aware because you guys are going to be the soft target for all these callers. Because you've just arrived, everything is new for you and you might even believe in them. Because they are talking all the sensitive information which are there in your travel documents. Just be aware.